What's happening, guys? Safety Liner C2 here. We've got the third box of brochures that I've ordered, the third set that I have ordered off of uh, someone who Noah referred me, referred me to. Uh, and yeah, so if you haven't checked out the first two videos, I've gotten some really good stuff from this gentleman. Uh, last video, I got a bunch of chassis brochures. I think the first one we got uh, some Wayne brochures and some Thomas ones. Uh, I don't remember what else off the top of my mind, but this, this right here, this is the box I am most excited for. These are the best ones yet, in my opinion. So, haven't opened it up all the way, just for video effects, but I am super duper excited to, to take a look at these, because like I said, these are some really good brochures. And there seems to be a little more than brochures in here. This is... This is solid. Okay, totally kidding there. Just look at how thick this envelope is. Just all full of brochures. Uh, I am super excited. There's a little sneak peek right there and right there. So uh, let's go ahead. We'll start off with this one. Um, and we'll just work our way through through here. So uh, this is one. This is another chassis brochure. And I believe this is the only chassis brochure um, in here. I'm going to raise this up a little bit. Uh, this is for Madsen chassis. I'm not too familiar with them, but they're um, made for carpenters, I believe, is what we were talking about. So, oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Uh, wow, this is... Okay, we're going to have to figure this out. So let's just put this to the side. Um, so, yeah, Madsen Transit chassis. Not too much in there. And... These all go in here, I guess. I don't know if these go with it, but uh, like I said, Carpenters right there. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, Purdue University. There's a Wayne Ari. Look at that. Okay, so right here, I'm not going to show all of it because there's some personal information in there. Um, but that is a note to the guy uh, who sold me all of this stuff from 1971. Uh, and... I didn't know how he came across a lot of this stuff because it just seems to be never ending. And it appears that this uh, gentleman was uh, some sort of transportation director or some sort of school official or something, uh, which is why he has all of this stuff. So this is how he has all of these brochures. Uh, the Bell Ringers, I have this brochure and I've done a video on it before. So there's some good stuff in there. So... That does not belong in there, but let's see. Fire trucks and more fire trucks. Yeah, so I will scan, and this goes for everything in this video, everything that you see. I will scan all of this stuff, post it on Flickr, um, so that you're able to see uh, high-quality images of everything here, not just videos. So... All right, let's see. What do we have next? Wayne Chaperone. Okay. A little marching band there. So, let's see. Uh, as, as someone who is in marching band, that, that does not seem accurate at all. Um, so, yeah, do we have a date on this? Let's see. Form 83-6, so possibly 1983. So... Yeah, okay, that's a nice little brochure. What else do we have in here? So a few small things right here. So what is this? Be part of the Wayne Lifeguard Youth Movement. So what? what is this? Oh, it's a contest. Okay, so we're going to have to, maybe we'll do a video and enter this contest and <laughs> send it in, see what happens. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Send us your suggestion. Contest is open to school board members, school superintendents, transportation members, and other professional personnel. Uh, vitally concerned with pupil safety. I'm concerned with pupil safety. So, uh, yeah, some sort of little contest on how to make uh, school buses even safer, I guess. So, all right. About school bus driver safety, an industry leader for more than 150 years from Wayne Corporation. So... What do we have here? First off, do we have a year on here? 
No, but okay, here is something interesting. Here's something you not you don't really see. So we have Wayne and we have Wells. Wellis, Wells, however you want to say it. Uh, so the Wells is the Canadian version of Wayne. That's how they were all branded up there. Um, and I can't say that I've seen um, anything with the Wells name on it in terms of literature. Uh, and this would be during the mid-90s because there is a 3800. I was looking for the year right there. So, uh, But notice that we have S1800s in there as well. So I'm taking that this was a pretty early 90s brochure, 90s little thing. So uh, this is super, super cool and in phenomenal condition right here, as you can see. Uh, this looks like it just just came off the line yesterday. So, um, yeah, this is this is really, really cool. So, awesome. Let's see, what else do we have in here? Here's a big brochure. All right. The bus you buy may buy a life. That's why we build so much safety into each Wayne lifeguard. So, we'll show you. What will you show me? Let's see. In 1973, we introduced the bus called Safety, they called Safest, Safest Yet. Gosh, I can't speak. Since then, we've continued to improve the Wayne lifeguard, and, and it's still in a class all on its own, and there's some news articles over there. Um, just talking about the safety and paneling and stuff. Let's see, it looks like these, do these fold out? Yeah, they do. I think we've seen these pictures before in another brochure. I could be wrong, but let's see. Um, there's the interior of one. What's that up there? Is that like a control panel or a radio or something? Can't tell what that thing is. Let's see, we'll figure that out later. So, um, Check this out, a green school bus. Huh. And then, it, what is all this? Where are all of these? Yeah, I do want to know more. Your Wayne dealer has a customer po portfolio to answer questions about the lifeguard. Should focus that. Um, man, maybe those are in here or somewhere. Um, <laughs> still, super cool. Uh, Form 84-1. Oops, still can't see it. Form 84-1, so probably 1984. And that I think that corresponds with these two. Um, could be wrong, but yeah, so some good stuff right there. Let's see what is up next. Join the greatest youth movement concept in 40 years. So we're looking at, uh, 70s right here because of that Lodestar, which is beautifully specced, might I say. I'm not really a fan of the, uh, kind of black down here on the fenders, but it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look that bad, so... Uh, and then we have all of the different uh, Wayne dealers. Where was ours? Martson's. And then where was the one in Texas? Where's Texas? Las Cruces. That's New Mexico. And Austin. Okay, so definitely want to look those up later just for curiosity. All right, what do we have here? Wayne Corporation. News about a major development in bus safety directed towards Twilight Bus Lines in Red Hook, New York. I see, I think I see stuff in there, but... See, I want to be careful with this. I don't want to damage it. Okay, so upon further inspection, there is nothing in here. Um, I'm not going to open it up any further, just because I really don't want to damage it. Um, but yeah, just super cool. So, uh, what is up next? Oh, maybe this is what was in there. Wayne Bus and Truck Equipment to our friends in school transportation. Uh, the enclosed announcement appeared in the American School Board Journal, School Bus Fleet, and Nation Schools. It tells all about the Wayne Lifeguard Youth Movement, which we were just looking at. Um, this. So I assume this would this would have been in here. Okay. Um, and then if your suggestion is the winning entry, you will receive a brand new Wayne Lifeguard. But, whoa, okay. So it goes back to this thing. You can enter to win a brand new school bus. That's awesome. Um, wow. Wow, that's really cool. So, um, yeah. All right, what do we have in here? This looks like a Thomas brochure just based off of this. Um, so, Thomas? Thomas, nice. Okay, Thomas Task Force. Um, yeah, another brochure that I do not have. Uh, 
Proud Heritage. Let's see. Some good stuff in here. I'm guessing this is probably a 80s brochure. Yeah, so we're going to be looking at an 80s based off of that Generation ER right there. So, look at all this stuff. I think I have a brochure similar to this, but not this exact one. Uh, I'm loving this ER up here with the transit style windows. I think that looks really good. Uh, and the um, paint job on there looks really nice as well. Uh, this right here, what is this? The City Liner. Let's see, let's read a little bit about this. Designed for inner city transit, it combines durability, economical operation, and a high degree of passenger comfort. That's a really weird looking bus right there, but uh, super cool. So, yeah. Let's see, what else do we have in here? Thomas Built up there. Some, some more basic stuff. And there's the city liner again. So, uh, do we have a year on here? 86. June of 86. All right, this looks like probably the earliest Thomas brochure that I have. I'm guessing this is an early 70s brochure, just based off of the design and the bus on the front. So uh, let's find out as we continue to look throughout this brochure. We have a fold-out page right here for the underbody. And does it fold out even further? No, it doesn't. Sorry, I'm just looking through the camera most of the time on here. All right, doors. Look into it. You'll pick Thomas just for the doors. Maybe not just for the doors, but... All right, let's see. The roof, of course. Heating and insulation. The interiors, all the different seats that you can choose. Driver area. Check out the manual transmission right there, the radio down here. All right, here's, here's something you don't see, a little uh, uh, Thomas service van. That's pretty cool. Oh, my God. Wow, those are those are gorgeous. I love that. I love that ER right there. Uh, an original Mighty Might. That's not something... Th this is... That's the picture of the original Mighty Might. I love that. Uh, special activity buses. I, I just love that that ER right there. That is beautiful. So, um, 1971. So, yeah, that fits right in. Right around there, I believe. So, super, super cool. Like I said, I think that's the earliest Thomas brochure that I have. So, uh, up next, another Thomas one with a older uh, EF on there. So, uh, again, I'm probably guessing this is 70s... And uh, nothing in here. Or not, no dates or anything, so. Alright, so we have the ER, the EF, the Mighty Might. So just look at how, look at the difference between the two Mighty Mights. Between these two. It's, it, it, there, there's such a huge difference right there. But, um, okay, so let's see. It looks like this is, oh no, was that cut out? Something was cut out right there. That must have been a. A type C, I guess. That's too bad. Oh, well. Um, let's see. Talking about the roof structure. The doors on there again. Here we go. There's a beautiful load star. Open it up and take a look at the structure again. Let's see. What else do we have? So, just another... Uh, let's see. Cream Puffs. I, okay, I'm very curious. Your Thomas uh, distributor, more than just a bus salesman. Cream Puffs. When you can't afford a bus, what can you afford? A used bus. And your Thomas bus distributor has a big selection of quality used buses at prices you can afford. Uh, fully reconditioned, ready to go, all the best names too, including our own. So, if, so see him for a sweet deal on a used bus if you can't afford a new one. Hmm. And look at this guy down here. Okay, that's uh, that's something. So, yeah, these are some uh, these are some interesting pictures right there. So, and then the back of the bus. Ah, right, up next, what do we have in here? Oh, this is the one I this is the Thomas one I was most excited for. Um, I don't think I had ever seen this brochure before, and just 
look at this. This is such a simple design uh, with such a beautiful bust right there. And I think we're going to be looking more at Task Force. Uh, again, some more transit style stuff in this brochure. Um, but that's just a beautiful, beautiful bust right there. So uh, let's see. The pusher, yes. We're back on the ERs. So here's forward control, the EF with uh, the dual doors on there. Um, let's see, coach style seating, overhead racks, under storage on there. Love that. These uh, these paint jobs on here are interesting too. There's an old uh, Chevy on there. Another one right there. All the different style seatings you can get. Uh, the driver's seat and then all the different passenger seats you can get right there. Uh, seating configurations, and then just uh, heating and cooling, additional info, and uh, yeah. So what is our year on here? Oops. Let's see, we don't have a year on here. Okay. All right. We've still got a lot more to go. I'm really happy with this one. Um, Thomas Buses, the past, present, and future. I've done a video on this one. I have this brochure. Um, so... I'll try and link that if I can find it. Let's see, what do we have here? This is a folder. Ooh. Ooh, this isn't a folder. This is a whole brochure. This is a big brochure. Your buses should have a superior rating. Yes, I totally agree. So, all right. Okay. Okay. So, starting off here. Um, so, it looks like that was a little picture that just goes right there and then that fits in. So, Gosh, this is great stuff. The new 1971 Superior Super Cruiser with rear power. Gosh, look at these. There's an Ohio bus right there, too. All right, let's see. Here's an orange one. The manual stop sign. And this is a front engine variation. What's that? Wow, these are these are gorgeous. Let's see, can we tell what state this is? Ohio State. These are beautiful. Okay, this is probably the weirdest thing I've seen yet. This has got to be by far the weirdest thing. Look at how the warning lights are set up. Amber's on the outside and red's on the inside. That is so weird. Yeah, that, that's super odd. So, um, wow, this is already, and we haven't even looked through the actual brochure yet, but just those pictures alone are amazing. Uh, there's a factory in Lima. Uh, the Mississippi factory and the Norwalk factory. So, wonderful, wonderful brochures right here. You don't see too many superior things either. So, um, super excited to have this. Your buses should have a superior finish. Superior visibility. Again, I agree. Superior heating, superior seating. What's next? Superior passenger protection. Different variations on warning lights and turn signals and stuff. Let's see, superior doors. All the different variations of the doors. That's interesting, a whole sedan door. Uh, but it looks like that wasn't necessarily a school bus, and that was maybe a a uh, a coach or something. I don't know, but looking at it again, there are warning lights on there. So interesting. Standard door control, heavy duty door control. Wow, these are phenomenal. Luggage and storage, all the different options on here. Wow, there's a lot of good stuff in here. And superior rating. Did we ever get a year on this? I don't believe we did. Um, yeah, 
Really, really good brochure. And we're still not done. We're still not done with this stuff. All right. Probably, again, 70s, early 80s, just based off of the front right there. We'll see uh, here in a minute if there's an international chassis in there. It'll give us an even better idea for years. Take a look at that. I like that black belt all the way around. Kind of fits in pretty well, actually. So, let's see. Again, some really good stuff in here. Some more heating. Stop state law. 1981. Yep. Okay, check check this stuff out. So, uh, first off, a couple different variations on the stop sign. That one's a very unusual stop sign, but did nonetheless exist. Uh, but just not that common. And then this roof rack... Again, that's not something you see too often, uh, but pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, 1981, and you can see uh, Ford, the two GM chassis, and the International chassis right there. So, uh, what do we have next? Is this the last one? Yep, I think this is the last one. So, uh, and then the folder is labeled Superior Body Company, August 21st, 1971. So, anyways, uh, here's, here's one, uh, another one I'm super excited for. Uh, it's this Wayne R.E. brochure. This is this is unlike anything I have. And this is just... It's beautiful artwork right there. It really is. So, um, I'm super excited to just open it up and see what's inside here. So, uh, Wayne R.E.'s. Look at those. Beautiful, beautiful buses right there. Uh, and then different variations. Cool solution for team travel. Swing and way to make the scene. Latest twist in campus a go go. Okay, oh, it opens up this way. All right, what do we have right here? More transit buses. Okay, and the interior. And on the back here, what do we have? Check that out. Tandem axle Wayne. Mobile Blood Center, Mobile Library, Coaches, State Police. Check out how rounded that back is. That's a that would not fit in with this generation. This is a this is an earlier Wayne than whatever they're advertising, just based off of that really round back right there. So, um, yeah. So super happy with that one. I'm really happy with this purchase. There are a lot of phenomenal finds in here. Um, uh, just so many great things and I'm really, really excited about this one and I can't wait to look more in depth at these. So, uh, if you want a chance to look in depth on your own and possibly win a Wayne lifeguard, check out my Flickr. I will be scanning each and every page, image, uh, everything so that you can look on your own and i have been working on scanning all of my brochures every piece of literature that i own uh so that y'all are able to do so and i'm almost done but i just got a lot more right here to do so um anyways thanks so much for sticking around uh through this long video i hope it was as exciting for you as it was for me but either way thank you so much for watching always do appreciate it Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know why they put it down here. They put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or all of these are going to be torn up. And make sure you also share this video with a friend. Show it to your mom. Show it to your dad. Show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. And thanks for watching.